Hello folks, after a long time I am again online. So we are in a state of lockdown because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, and uh, during this lockdown, a uh, lot of problems arose. Uh, lots of problems, uh, though it has been done for our benefit. Uh, so uh, the, it's all the whole society has uh, broken down, let us say. Uh, economically, we are having a great downfall. But before that, it is life that matters. So that's why we have to tolerate this much. And uh, even if we decide that uh, we won't be disturbed by those things, we get disturbed. Uh, we see uh, people uh, facing difficulties in their daily livelihood. We see people difficulty in uh, feeling difficulty in getting medical help in, uh, because of some other health problems also. We also uh, hear and see a lot of negative news, lots of negative news. And uh, again, we see lots of news in which people, people without heart, let us say, without heart, trying to benefit uh, at this uh, junction, juncture of uh, uh, social chaos that fills our heart with anger. And uh, that uh, makes uh, our regular job uh, uh, difficult, let us say, difficult. But still, uh, today I realized that uh, in, in addition to all these things, uh, there are a lot of uh, subscribers, a lot of uh, people who are still waiting, uh, waiting for, um, waiting for me, to, me to post videos, uh, so that I can solve some of their problems. And just uh, uh, I got this problem uh, today by some, uh, some, some, uh, some uh, I forgot the name. I thought that it would be very easy, but it was not because uh, that's what Cambridge does. Uh, Cambridge does. Uh, we feel that the answers are easy, but uh, many a times. Uh, Many a times they, they they betray us. Let us say they betray us in joking sense. Uh, we have to dwell for the deeper to find the proper answer. So same problem here. So it's 19 October November October November uh, paper one one and the question number is ten. Uh, it says two gliders are traveling uh, towards each other on a horizontal air track. So this side this side glider P has a mass this much uh, 0.30 kg and is moving with a constant speed of 1.2 meter per second. Glider Q uh, has a mass of 0.60 kg and is moving with a constant speed of 1.8 meter per second to this side. The gliders have a perfectly elastic collision, so it means that uh, no uh, loss of a KE. What are the speeds of the two gliders after the collision? So when I tried this problem, I could have done uh, that formula, uh, relative velocity of approach equal to uh, relative velocity of separation, but uh, that gave two answers and that gave two choices here. Two choices here because the headings are of speed. Had they given the velocities, only one choice would have been correct. But they gave two choices here, so that's why uh, they gave speed speed. So both these choices C and D was correct. So that's why I uh, I decided that uh, let me use the whole formula. Let me use the whole formula uh, which we derive uh, derive <coughs> in our notes. So when two bodies uh, collide, bodies B and bodies Q. Uh, in, el in elastic collision, perfect elastic collision, the final velocity of uh, P and Q are given somewhat like this. So we have uh, final velocity of uh, P will be equal to VP will be equal to MP minus MQ, MQ UP plus 2 MQ UQ whole divided uh, MP plus MQ plus MQ. The formula for VP and for VQ it will be equal to so just uh, we have to replace P by Q and Q by P so it will be MQ minus MP then UQ plus twice MP UP whole divided divided MQ plus MP so by using this formula let us get the value so VP should be equal to VP should be equal to so this is uh, uh, UP and this is uh, uh, UQ will be equal to minus 1.8 meter per second because in our theory what we did was the velocity going to the right is taken as positive and if it goes to the left it will be taken as negative. So I followed that principle so UP equal to directly 1.2 meter per second and UQ equal to minus 1 per second. So let's follow the principle. So MP is equal to 0 0.30, 0 0.30 minus 0 0.60 this up is equal to 1.2 2 plus 2 mq is equal to 
0 0.60, 0 0.60, and this UQ is equal to minus 1.8, 1.8. So then, then, then we have, <coughs> we have, in the denominator, we will have, we will have, we'll have MP plus MQ. So MP is equal to 0 0.30, and MQ is equal to 0 0.60. So the answer here will be equal to. So let me read. So uh, this minus this is minus 0 0.30. So it is. Uh, uh, 0 0.30 uh, this uh, minus sorry sorry uh, let's, so let's do it like this uh, so this is uh, minus 0 0.30 into 1.3 1.3 and 1.2 actually so 0.3 into uh, 1.2 1.2 uh, equal to so that is uh, uh, 0 0.36 and this 0 0.36 is minus it is minus so it is uh, uh, let us say minus 0 0.36 plus into minus is minus again so this into this will be equal to so 6 to the 12 so it is 1.2 into 1.8 equal to minus uh, 2.16 whole divided 0 0.90 so it should be equal to 2.6 so 2.52 divided by 0 0.90 and it becomes equal to equal to so 2.52 divided uh, 0.9 will be equal to 2.8 so it's equal to minus 2.8 meter per second so it means that this body p will come back like this head-on collision and its velocity will, will be equal to 2.8 meter per second so if i go to answer choices this only choice c is correct choice is correct so now what we need to do is if I apply this formula, if I apply this formula, this formula, this formula, you will obtain this 0 0.2 and that's positive. So positive means that the body will go to this direction. So this P after colliding goes to this direction and this into this direction. So the correct choice becomes choice number C. Choice number C. Now the question arises as I mentioned in the beginning as well. What happens is, uh, can't I try that approach, uh, relative velocity of approach equal to velocity of separation? So we can do, but uh, that gives you two correct choices. So what I can do is, let us go, go through this. So this minus this, 0 0.6. So let us say, uh, let us say initial velocity of approach. So the initial velocity of approach is, uh, relative velocity of approach is equal to uh, VB, uh, sorry, VP, UP, sorry, UP minus UQ is equal to 1.2 minus minus 1.8 is equal to 3.0 3.0 so that means the relative velocity of separation relative velocity of separation should also be equal to 3.0 so if i do this if i do 1.2 minus 0 0.6 we can come come to this if i do plus we can come to this so not correct so if i do this minus this this is not true this plus this not true but here if i do this minus the this not true this plus this yes i can have 3.0 3.0 and here if i do this plus this 4.2 this minus this 3.0 so 3.0 is given by two two choices so we could not do that approach and that's why we go, got to the, through the very basic one very basic one but a bit a longer one and got the correct answer so the correct choice is choice number c